stretches are active, functional exercises in which you move through your body's full range of motion. Dynamic stretches incre increase your blood flow, lubricate your joints, and improve your flexibility. The warm-up exercises performed before workouts and races and will reduce your likelihood of injury. A proper warm-up like dynamic stretches that I'm about to show you should always be done before a workout or a race. Perform each of the following exercises 10 times on each leg and pick a point to go back and forth. Walking quad stretch. This stretch opens up the hips, stretches the front of the legs or the quadricep muscles, and helps increase blood flow to the knee joint. Reach and grab your foot, drop your knee under your hip, and push your hip forward. Feel the front of your leg and hip flexor stretch. Keep in mind your upper body should remain in a vertical position. In other words, maintain a flat back. Also, make sure to alternate legs. Alternate toe touch, or also called Frankenstein. Swing your leg forward and towards your opposite arm, which is reaching out. Your upper body should remain in a vertical position or maintain a flat back with your legs straight. Engage your glute muscles and lower abdominal muscles. There's no need to touch your toes if your flexibility does not allow it. This stretch will open up the hamstrings, glutes, and low back. It also helps to loosen up the calf muscles and increase blood flow to the lower limbs. A progression for this stretch is to swing the leg all the way back and create a T-like position with your body. It requires a little bit more balance and opens up the hip flexors and the hamstrings more. Keep in mind the back remains flat and the legs straight. Cradle or also referred to as hip opener. Cross one leg over the knee of your standing leg while squatting down on the standing leg. Your upper body should remain in a near vertical position or, in other words, maintain a flat back. This stretch opens up the hip flexors, stretches out the glute and hip muscles including the piriformis and also inner thigh muscles as well as quadriceps. A modification for this exercise is to simply grab the opposite leg and pull towards your chest without crossing over and sitting. When you become more flexible, you can advance to the sitting position. Inner thigh, or also referred to as the lateral squat, Take a long, exaggerated step sideways with one leg. Slowly flex your leading knee until your thigh is parallel to the ground. At the same time, your trailing leg should remain straight and close to the ground. Your upper body should remain in a vertical position or maintain a flat back. Forcefully push off with your lunging leg and alternate sides, keeping most of your weight over your forward heel. This stretch opens up the inner thigh muscles and warms up many of the muscles in the lower limb including hamstrings, quads, calves, and glutes. IT band stretch. Moving to the left, cross your right leg over the left and reach around to the right side toward the back of the knee and then down towards the ground. Push your hips out in the opposite direction you are reaching. Return to the, return the opposite direction, moving to the right, crossing your left leg over your right leg and reaching around the left side toward the back of the knee, then down to the ground. This stretch 
opens up the hips and stretches out the TFL muscle, which is connected to the IT band. Mm -hmm.